Hi, this is Dr. Jivikas Paul. In this session, we'll discuss about uh, a problem on Michaelis method. So, first of all, let us see what is Michaelis method. It is similar to double integration method, but the only difference is that there is only one equation written for the whole of the span. For the bending moment, uh, instead of writing different moment equation for different sections of the brain, whenever uh, beam, whenever shear force gets varying. That means, for example, if we take a beam like this combination of loads, uh, suppose this is there. So here in double integration method, we need to, so whenever shear forces get varying, that means see here, here shear force is getting varying for these different spans. So for these cases, double integration method is not suitable. It is very long. So Michaelis method is suitable for this type of problem. You can see here, it is similar to double integration method, but the only difference is that there is only one equation written for the whole of the span for the bending moments. So we will write only one equation, one moment equation in Michaelis method, whereas we write three different equations for different different equations for in uh, double integration method. Instead of writing different moment equation for different sections of the beam, where whenever shear force gets varying, right? Now let us see a problem. A simply supported beam on of span nine meters, so span nine meters carries a two point loads two ten and one twenty five at uh, two meters from left support and 6 meters from left support. So 210 is from 2 meters from left support, 125 is 6 meters from left support. Next. The self fit of the beam is 26 km per meter, that is nothing but UDL. Determine maximum slope and deflection at the center. Determine the slope and deflection at the center. So maximum slope we need to uh, find and deflection at center we need to find. So that means theta uh, a we need to find uh, to theta b we can we need we can find and y at center we need to find a y at center means y at uh, 9 by 2 4.5 so in uh, Michaelis method so the first step is to write differential equation m equal to a d square y by dx square now what we are doing here is see here we are considering a section at this point in the span db so that every all the forces are covered so here at this point we are writing the moment equation. So forget the right side, only left side portion if you see. Consider a section xx in db at a, section, at a distance of x from a, at a distance of x from a. This section is at a distance of x from a. So now we need to find the reactions first. Before writing the moment equation, we need to find R A R B using equilibrium equations. Sigma F Y equal to zero. Sigma moment about B equal to zero. First, if uh, applying sigma F Y equal to zero, so upward force equal to downward force. R A plus R B equal to 210 plus 125 plus 26 into 9. 26 into 9, that is load into span. R A plus R B equal to 569. Yeah, next applying sigma M B equal to zero. That means moment about v equal to zero. So R A into the perpendicular distance nine plus uh, minus two ten into this distance minus one twenty five this distance plus twenty six into nine into half of the length. So the same thing we have written here. So R A into nine minus two ten into seven minus one twenty five three minus twenty six into nine into nine by two. So R A we will get as three twenty two. So uh, uh, we can find R B. So we can have this equation. So the substituting R A value we get. 247 is R by. Now, moment at x is that means at this point, it at D, not D, uh, here, at this section. So, force into R A into x minus 210 into x minus 2 minus 125 into x minus 6 plus uh, minus, sorry, minus 26 into x into x by 2. So, the same thing I have written here, you can see here, equal to E i d square by, by d x square. So from here it is EAD, it is square by days. So I have equated, equated it. Next what we have to do, next here we have written the same thing here in this step. And uh, uh, this is extended here and uh, this is just simplified here. If you simplify, we will get this equation, right. So integrating this equation, I will get the, in terms of slope and a constant will come, right. So dy by dx, here x square by 2, here x cube by 3 will come, ax will come, c1 will come. Again integrating this equation 3, we will get eiy plus x cube by 3 here we will get, x power 4 by 4 we will get, x square by 2, c1x plus c2. Now applying boundary conditions here, see if you see here the boundary condition is, boundary conditions are, uh, see here, at a and b there is no deflection so x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal to 9 y equal to 0 so i am applying this one here x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so substitute in the above in the equation 4 so we will get 0 plus 0 everything 0 so c2 also 0 therefore 
uh, substitute this c2 0 is equal to 0 in this equation 4 substitute c2 equal to 0 in equation 4 we will get a by plus uh, 13 by 6 into x cube plus 0 I have substituted here so now applying this e equation so I am applying this equation x equal to 9 y equal to 0 in this equation substituting in this equation x equal to wherever x equal to x there I have substituted 9 y 0 therefore from here I have got c1 equal to 4299.7 now substituting the c1 value in equation 3 in equation because it is a slope equation we need slope equation so substituting this value here we will get slope equation see here instead of c1 I have substituted 4299.7 this is the slope equation now we can find a slope now to find theta a substitute x equal to 0 let's see here so x equal to 0 theta equal to theta a x equal to 9 theta equal to theta b so substitute x equal to 0 in slope equation you will get theta a substitute x equal to 9 in slope equation you will get theta b so if i substitute x equal to 0 i get theta a as in this equation i'll get a minus 4 2 double net point 7 by e i now to find theta b i'll substitute x equal to 9 meters in this equation in this equation so what i've got here is after solving it i'll get theta b as 254.8 uh, by EA. Now to get the deflection equation, substitute these uh, C1 and C2 values which we have got in equation 4. See in equation 4, in this equation, if we substitute C1 and C2 values, we will get the deflection equation. So that is what the deflection equation is. See, I have substituted C1 value which we have got to 42.7 and C2 as 0. Then I have got the deflection equation. Now what we need to find uh, he has asked to find the deflection center so to find deflection center substitute x equal to 4.5 meter because it is a center in equation 6 in the above equation so ea y center plus c instead of x i substitute 4.5 4.5 4.5 so here we can find y center as at center the deflection is minus 8020.68 divided by ea